Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be a general reading for you guys for the next three days. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. All the details on that are also in the description box if you guys are interested. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. For Pisces, for the next three days... Also, you guys, when you complete this reading, um, if I clicked with your energy, there are some comments down in the, um, there are some links in the comment section um, to some other readings that I've done for you recently if you want to check those out. All right. And if this is not resonating with you in the beginning, you're more than welcome to stick around or skip around. You might find something that resonates. All right. I'm not really reading in a straight line here, okay? What's going on with the Four of Cups? Some of you guys could have your moon in Cancer. For some of you guys, if you've been in a rut financially, I see that improving because you have the Five of Pentacles here. You have the Four of Cups, which to me can sometimes be a card of being in a rut. And then you have the uh, Three of Cups, the King of Wands, um, the Empress, the World, and the Eight of Wands. So all this to me represents a big shift, um, lots of growth, okay? Taking action on things, committing to things, uh, starting new things, okay? Um, but yeah, I also feel as if, you know, for some of you guys, you're starting something new, but you're not really satisfied. Or maybe you already have a lot of success, but you're not really satisfied. Um, I just want to look deeper at that Five of Pentacles energy. What's going on? Some of you guys are feeling abandoned or ignored by a person. Taurus or Libra. What's going on? Just getting a lot of Earth energy all of a sudden. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn maybe. What's going on with the Five of Pentacles? Two of Pentacles. I'm going to get two more out here for this. Actually, that one wants to come out, so we'll do it, okay? Um, yeah, we've got so many Pentacle cards here. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, money has just been very up and down, okay? It's been very tight. You have the two of Pentacles, so I feel like this is you trying to balance things, you know, cut things out, figure out what it is that you do need, um, you know, how to scrape for that. Like, it's a really penny-pinching kind of energy that I've that I feel you guys have been in here, okay? So I feel like this could be a financial advisor that you're seeing here, or you're getting some kind of um, advice financially or some kind of news about money, all right? So I'm not sure what this is here, uh, but I feel like money is improving, okay? So um, I'm seeing that for a lot of you guys. For others of you, like I said, I think you're feeling ab abandoned by a person here. The Two of Pentacles, you might have felt like somebody was juggling you with another person. You do have two people in this card here in the Five of Pentacles, and then we have the Four, all right? So I feel like this is something that you're still holding on to but it is something that you're trying to put behind you hmm. I think that you're still open to commitment you want a commitment with somebody here is how that feels to me with the ten of pentacles um the three of cups let's look at that what's going on with the three of cups no I don't like that what's going on with that three of cups three of cups for Pisces knight of wands mm. Yeah, I think there could be a little bit of anxiety. Some of you guys could have Sagittarius in your chart. I think I got something similar for Sagittarius. It might have actually been Capricorn, but I'm pretty sure it was Sagittarius. Um, there is just a really wishy-washy energy here. That Two of Pentacles could be like indecision. I feel like maybe some of you guys are waiting on someone to come forward because they've come forward so many times in the past. What's going on with the King of Wands? Because the Three of Cups can be a card of reunion, yeah, and I got that for Sagittarius too. Lots of mental confliction, anxiety. I think there's a conversation that you're waiting to have, okay? Uh, some of you could have Venus and Aquarius, all right? Give me the Empress. Page of Wands, this could be a fire sign messaging you here, okay? But I feel like overall, you know, with that Page of Wands, I feel like there's something new coming in that's going to bring you a lot of growth, a lot of abundance with the Empress card. Um, so yeah, I feel like there are actually a lot of exciting things going on, but there's like this energy of you just not being satisfied, okay? Some of you guys, 
um, whatever this is, things are things are growing, but I feel like they're growing in a straight line, if that makes sense, okay? The Two of Pentacles, that infinity symbol there, it seems like you, you may be feeling like you're going in circles, okay? So you might actually be feeling drained, uh, regardless of the amount of success that you're having here. You have the Four of Pentacles. He's kind of isolated. You see those cities back there in the background? I feel like it may be time for some of you guys to break off here, take a break from something, okay? Um, and I feel like it, it's definitely working well for a lot of you, okay? Give me the world. Give me the world, please, for Pisces. This could be travel. Maybe you're needing to travel. The world and the Eight of Wands being here. Maybe that'll help you a change of scenery with the Empress. Okay. For others of you, like I said, I feel like there's a fire sign trying to bring in some kind of message here. The death card could be a Scorpio as well, but yeah, I definitely feel like change is necessary in a situation here, Pisces. Within the next three days, I feel like you're going to be realizing that, okay? Maybe it's a change that you don't want to make, all right? Or maybe you're afraid of this change. You feel like it's going to bring about something terrible, like this Five of Pentacles energy, like you stopping for five seconds here, Pisces. Um, you feel like it's going to bring about something bad, but I don't really feel that way, okay? Give me the... Eight of Wands. With that Page of Wands, if anything, I feel like this is going to be, you know, it's going to rejuvenate you. Give me the Eight of Wands. I'm getting two for it. The Magician and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like the choice is really up to you. I mean, you have the Two of Wands right here on the bottom representing a choice, okay? Whether you want to stay stuck in this energy because I feel like it's only going to continue to drain you, Pisces, the more that you either you're waiting on something or you're just doing something over and over again. It's very repetitive. Um, and I feel like, you know, there's something here where you need to break away from that, all right? If this is a person you're waiting on, it's possibly that you're stalking, watching, creeping. You may need to break away from that, okay? For good. We have the Magician, Virgo, and Gemini energy here. So, yeah. I feel like you could definitely make things happen, all right? Um, you can. This is a card that pretty much says you can have whatever you want. He's got the cup, the pinnacle, the wand, the sword. He has everything that he needs here, okay, to have whatever it is that he wants. So, um, yeah, I feel like if that's not involving a person, then you need to get on that here. You can have what you want. It just might not be with this person that you're waiting on. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. What's going on with the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? What's going on with the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces, please? Ace of Pentacles for Pisces in the next three days. Ace of Wands, two aces, that's good. Like I said, I feel like this break is going to be rejuvenating for some of you guys if you take it, okay? All right. Three aces, that's good, that's good. But when we have the Seven of Swords, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so, um, yeah, I feel like there's potential for something really good here with that Ace of Pentacles. So, um, you know, that is the seed, all right? But the seed has not hit the soil. The seed has not been planted. So, um, I feel like there is potential for something really good, okay? Um, but I feel something, I don't really want to call it negative, but I feel something not so good off that King of Cups. What is it? What's going on with the King of Cups? Just the way that, you know, I always try to pay attention to the way that the court cards interact because a lot of the time, not always, but the court cards can represent people, okay? And the way that King of Wands is looking at that Queen of, or the way that King of Cups is looking at the Queen of Wands um, is really catching my attention. What's going on with the King of Cups? Judgment, okay? And how about the Queen of Wands? Temperance, hmm. Pisces, I feel like you could be connecting with somebody who is trying to find peace outside of your connection, okay? I feel like they are trying to find peace outside of your connection. This could be a Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? Um, but I feel like that's something that you're really struggling with. I feel like that's something that's really bothering you because with the judgment card being here, I feel like you want to reconcile with this person. I feel like you expect some kind of commitment with them, but I feel like they're finding peace somewhere else, okay? Got to deliver the message that I'm getting. Give me the Ace of Wands. Will of Fortune. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they've recycled their energy into something new, but the thing is, I feel like you could be doing the same, all right? I think that you're just really caught up on what you wanted something to be, all right? Give me the Three of Wands. Four of Wands, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's a person here, Pisces, that you could be progressing with, or there's something here that you could have success with, uh, but you're not doing it, okay? I think, like I said, I feel like you're really caught up on what you thought this was going to be. Um, how about the Ace of Swords? How about the Ace of Swords? 
I feel like with the Three of Wands here, I think that there's something that you said or sent out, okay? Three of Wands to me is a card of sending something out. This is also a card of delegation. So again, like this could go either way. This could be that maybe you put all the work on this person or they put all the work on you. Okay, um, you know, with the Four of Wands being here, Fours represent like a... Um, uh, an energy of like comfort, okay? Nose on the grindstone, hard at work kind of energy. I feel like there's something here where no matter what you were hit with by this Queen of Wands energy, whether male or female, um, you know, you would not budge. You you kept working on it, okay? You kept going for what it was that you wanted. You stayed invested in it. And you feel like because of that, you should be rewarded, okay? But I feel like because of that, you kind of decreased your value in the eyes of this person, in the eyes of this Queen of Wands, okay? Hate to deliver it, but I have to. What's going on with the Ace of Swords? And it doesn't mean that you're less valuable. It just means that in the eyes of this person, because you kept investing and kept investing and kept investing, emotionally speaking, like, they could have that whenever they wanted. They didn't have to do anything for it, okay? Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Energy, at Seven of Swords. I mean, a lot of Sevens here. Uh, sevens are a vibration of, like, truth-seeking, okay? Analyzing things, all right? So, with the Ace of Swords being here, I feel like there is going to be some kind of breakthrough, okay? You gain clarity on something. You gain enlightenment, you know? The Seven of Wands, I feel like you're leveling up here. You're passing some kind of test, okay? That Ace of Swords is representing a breakthrough, all right? Um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like there could be someone new coming in here within the next three days. It could be a Taurus or another Pisces, okay? Give me the Seven of Swords. I also feel like this person, they could have like a really sharp tongue, okay? With the Queen of Wands being here, I feel like they're just kind of aggressive. I almost feel like there was just a lot of you just trying to break down walls or just trying to have a commitment with them, whatever this was here. Um, you know, I feel like it almost annoyed this person with the Queen of Wands because sometimes the Queen of Wands can also be an energy. I feel like this is your energy and theirs, okay? I feel like they're kind of um, the Queen of Wands on in the lower vibration. I feel like both of you are, truthfully. I feel like this person's kind of aggressive, combative, and I also feel like maybe you were in a space where, um, you know, Queen of Wands, she's bold, she's fearless, she goes after what she wants, she says what she thinks. You know, maybe you were in a space where you said so much that it felt kind of suffocating, okay? Give me the Seven of Swords. And this is energy. Energy is fluid. It could go either way. You don't have to take this on, Pisces. What's going on with the Seven of Swords? But this is somebody's story here. Seven of Pentacles. All seven showing up here. You guys are really in your head. You're really overanalyzing the situation when, once again, we have this Ace of Pentacles up here, Pisces. You're focused on this past investment. You have this Ace of Pentacles at your foot. You can have what you want, just not with this person, okay? Now, let's look at the Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy. What's going on with the Knight of Swords, please, for Pisces, the next three days? What's going on with the Knight of Swords for Pisces, the next three days? Okay, the Tower, King of Swords, the Star, So I feel like the next three days are going to be kind of tough, okay, um, you know, spiritually, emotionally. I feel like there's a lot that you're healing here, and I definitely think that a truth is coming and that's going to shake things up for you here, Pisces. You have the tower, okay, that doesn't always represent an ending. It doesn't always, it doesn't even always represent something chaotic. It's just like a shake-up of some sort. To me, it's not always something terrible, right? But I do feel like it is an uncomfortable truth. You have the Knight of Swords here. I feel like you've been digging for a certain truth, okay, um, and I feel like you're going to get that, okay, or someone else has been trying to pull a truth out of you and you give it to them okay but whatever truth is is it whatever truth this is it is given straight okay when the king of swords shows up to me that is a card of like honesty and truth because this is the only court card that will face you straight the other ones they look off to the side they look down you know but this one he faces you it's straight ahead okay he's looking straight at you so i feel like there's something here where you're getting the truth and nothing but the truth here pisces and um i feel like this could be something that's a little bit painful with this nine of wands energy i do feel like it's something that you'll get through but this is the wounded warrior card okay so i feel like it could be a painful truth that's coming in you do have the three of swords on the bottom of the deck um again i feel like it involves a connection pisces i can't get out of these connection stories for your sign uh for these readings but the six of cups i feel like it has something to do with the past connection i feel like this is something that's already over truthfully um with this six of cups energy showing up here so basically i feel like there's a conversation you're having with the past okay and you're being given a truth that you're asking for or you're delivering a truth okay but i feel like this is the start of healing give me the six of pentacles Somebody could have their moon in Taurus or their moon in Libra, all right? But the star card, you know, it's a card of healing. The six of cups, it's sun and Scorpio energy. That is a card of, you know, bringing a death to, a death to the past to bring about brighter days. 
I'm tongue tied, you guys. It's like one in the morning. <laughs> Give me the six of pentacles. Give me the six of pentacles. The lovers. Okay, so a decision is made here. The lovers doesn't always mean that there's going to be this wonderful, growing, healthy connection. The lovers, um, a lot of the time, represents a decision and a turning point, okay? So, Pisces, I feel like you're making a decision to change what it is that you feed, okay? What connections it is that you feed. Because, like I said, I feel like there's something brand new here, okay? Something that could be long-term and stable. Could be with the Taurus, could be Aquarius, Gemini. Um, you know, you have a lot of signs showing up here. But I feel like there is something new on the horizon for you. Um, so, yeah, I truthfully feel like it's all about what you feed. Um, so, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces is if you want something more tailored to your energy you're more than welcome to book a personal you could also check out the readings um, for your other signs and I do have some links in the comment section for um, the readings I've done for your sign recently so if you click if I clicked with your energy you're more than welcome to check those out they might resonate with you but if this is where we part I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy the rest of your week bye